Hello, this is Dr. Michael Myers, Associate Professor of Health Sciences at National University. In this short video presentation, I'm going to show you how to create a scatter plot and calculate the R value in StatCrunch. Once you have your StatCrunch sheet open, you can easily correlate two variables, and remember that scatter plots are done with quantitative variables, interval or ratio variables typically. So to do that, we can click on the data tab, load in some data, or we can type in some data. An example I use in my class is a debt reduction program. So you can have a, a ratio variable of months in a program. That'll be in the first column. So we have several families that have entered the study, and each one will be a row. So I'll go ahead and type that data in for you. Some families are in a debt reduction program for a short time, one month, and their total debt, which would be given in thousands, would be, we can abbreviate as 3.4, so that would be $3,400. I'll type in the rest of the data. So you can see as some families stay longer in the program, up to three months, their debt load goes down. We can easily plot this data in StatCrunch by simply going up to the Graph tab, selecting now Scatter Plot. put in our X and Y column. Typically in a scatter plot, we want to put the dependent variable or the thing that we're interested in looking at, the outcome variable, in the Y axis or the Y column. So here we're interested in their debt load, not what, how many months they were in the program. So we would put that, the dependent variable, the debt in the Y column, and the X column would be the months in the program. For the display, we'd want to do points. If we select lines, that's going to basically connect the dots. That's not what we want to do for a scatter plot. Scatter plot will be points. The overlay polynomial order is our line graph, so we can do a first order or a linear fit. That would be one we would select there. Line size we can manipulate as well. We can make that a little larger so we can see it on our graph. And our points we can make a little larger as well, probably five. From there, we just click Compute and we have our scatter plot. Now here you can see there's a, a negative trend here, so we should have a negative correlation or negative R value as the longer people stay in the program their debt tends to go down. The R value is calculated very quickly in StatCrunch. For that all we need to do is click on the Stat tab, Summary Stats, and select Correlation. Now remember correlation from the textbook, it's really what it's doing is a complex formula, well it's not really that complex, it's just really manipulating or summing up and comparing the deviations from the average for the x and y values. So the computer does all of that for us. Again we just click on our columns and select them. Now the p-value we're going to do later in this course because we're doing hypothesis testing a little bit later. We won't worry about that for now. And we just click compute and it'll give us the r-value. So here we have negative 0.92. Again, our values vary between 1 and negative 1. And this is a very strong correlation, strong negative correlation. As you can see, our values are very close to our linear fit here. So again, we can copy and paste this into Word for our reports or final documents. And again, this is a very quick way to get StatCrunch to create a scatter plot and our value in StatCrunch.